The Snail's Spell by Joanne Ryder, pictures by Lynn Cherry. Imagine you are soft and have no bones inside you. Imagine you are gray, the color of smoke. You are shrinking. Smaller and smaller and smaller. You are two inches long, lying on the brown ground, all soft and gray. Imagine you have no arms and legs now. Imagine you cannot walk or run. Instead, you glide and make your own smooth, sticky path to ride on. It is easy to move this way and it feels cool and good. You have a head and a mouth with rows of tiny teeth, but your teeth are on your tongue. You eat by sticking out your tongue and scraping tiny bits of lettuce into your tiny mouth. As you glide slowly on the damp brown ground, you touch everything with two short feelers. On the top of your head, you have two long feelers. You can stretch and stretch these feelers till they look like long, long horns. Your small black eyes rest at the tips of these feelers. One eye sees the brightness above. The other feeler curls around a lettuce leaf. Now you can see the darkness there. But your feeler touches something in the dark, something wriggling, someone alive. Fast as you can, you pull your feeler back. You tuck your eye inside your feeler and hide it from danger. Your eye glides down and down into your head. When you feel safe, your eye glides up and up to see your world again. You are soft and small and slow, gliding up and down and upside down. On your back lies a light curled shell. It is part of you and it grows as you grow. Whenever you want to rest, you have a place to go. First, you tuck your feelers inside your head. Then you draw your head and soft gray body inside your shell and sleep. The end.